solution is untenable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really curious why you're so fucking quiet. Like, that's the part that's bothering me the most, is, like, the game volume is fine, it's just you are extremely quiet. I don't know, you fucked something up. Probably. Probably shouldn't have done that. Options. Oh, there are no audio options at all. Stereo or mono are the volume options. We'll turn down Winders. That's what I'm trying to do. I have it turned down to like 20%. Let's turn fucking Sonic down to like 15%. 20% a lot. That's loud. Okay, here's the thing. I have... Because of my audio setup, I have the speakers, like my actual output speakers, at like 15. But because... Or no, I have it at 25 right now because I had to crank it up to hear you. Because changing stuff in... The way that it's running, like, through... Some things are running through voice meter, and now I have Discord running through voice meter as well in order to get the captioner thing to work. Uh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Okay, it seems like... Uh... Oh, wait. Uh, uh... Cable input? Okay. No, that's, that's maxed out. Okay. Maybe it- okay. Maybe it's fine now. Maybe. Yes, it's- okay, it's- it's fine. Now I need to check to see if the game audio volume balance isn't fucked up. It's a true to... mystery. Yeah. Because I know you're good in regards to what the stream can hear. The big problem was what was coming into my headphones. You could have just read the captions. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going. I can hear the game. I can hear you. Good God. Are you still setting my me to have increased gain? No, I, I changed it. I just had, like, basically I had to turn my speakers way up and everything that else that was coming out of my speakers way down. after the stream you could come see what kind of Frankenstein monstrosity I've got going it doesn't it's not that complicated it just doesn't work right maybe Sonic doesn't work right I mean the fact that a PC game doesn't have audio options does seem like a malfunction but this is a port of a GameCube game no, it's a port of a Dreamcast game, which is a port of a GameCube game. No, it's that. It's a port of a GameCube game, which is a port of a Dreamcast game. That's something. That's something, alright. Sonic Adventure has been around the block a couple of times. Why did I choose Dark Story? Dark Story starts with one of the worst levels in the game! You do get, you do get to schmoo with Eggman, though. believe there is a 100% completion speed run of this game. Uh, Some people just want a lot of Sonic. Yeah. 
But there's a lot. There's a lot of this video game, because that includes, like... Getting every emblem includes doing a fuckload of the Chow stuff. And doing a fuckload of the Chow stuff means a lot of grinding for uh, Chow uh, improvement materials. I got a B. It was a piece of cake, says Eggman. I had forgotten about this, how good the old Eggman voice is. Rest in peace. The new Eggman is also pretty good. But it, it's, it's a different, it's a different voice. So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Enter password. Password is Ma Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. That was my Wi-Fi password at my last apartment. The network name was Space Colony Arc, and the password was Maria. Now everyone's gonna be able to get on your Wi-Fi. I I don't control the Wi-Fi anymore though. Oh ho! Oh. Oh, oh. Is that you? Ow, the edge. You were so kind to release me, my master. I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. How do people in this game see Shadow as Sonic? They're just racist. They're hedgehog racist. This is Every hedgehog is the same. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. Copy that. Oh. I was trying to do the cool thing, hit him while he was still in the air, but it is very hit or miss whether or not that actually works. Because, like, the damage hitbox is weird in comparison to where his hurtbox is, and you will hurt hit the hurtbox first if you don't get at him at the right angle. The enemy is stronger than expected. It's like, the whole thing is that Shadow is supposed to be the military's top secret weapon. You would think they would know. They would know that whatever came out of this location would be something that was bad news. But he looks so friendly. <laughs> he looks just like Sonic! What? There we go. Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be <laughs> waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Arc. 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 The speaking animations in this game are so good. Just let it go. You just, just don't know when to give up, do you? Up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. So you got that? The master 
Earth Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Please. Look who's calling who at me. I can scare part of the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can see for something. I'll just take it with me. Not if I can help it. So, Knuckles jumps up and punches the Master Emerald, and uh, the shards of the Emerald go in go some places. Those emerald shards get end up every dang where. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Batgirl. Oh, this is the one with the turtle. Oh man, camera controls. I've been playing a lot of Sonic 64 recently, and so being able to just, like, move the right analog stick and it just does the kind of camera controls that you want a camera to do. A lot of Sonic 64, eh? Did I say Sonic 64? You did. Great. I've been playing a lot of Mario 64. Uh, this is not here. Okay, must be in the other side of the lagoon. Uh, God, how do you summon the turtle again? Oh, you have to rescue it. Gotta blow up the robots! Zoom! You get some really good turtle noises. Be around here somewhere. Is it in here? Oh boy, a life! Uh, ah! Oh, there it is. Got a perfect! I'm the bestest treasure hunter! Oh man, all of them are on this side. That's pretty unlucky. Couldn't even, like, accidentally find one on the other side of the lagoon. Okay, so... Are the shard spawns random? Yes. Uh, there are, like, certain locations... There's a limited number of uh, locations that they can spawn, but uh, the they are chosen randomly. Uh, what? Oh, is this one moving? Oh, God. What? Oh, right, you have to ride this turtle to go through that tunnel, I think. don't remember how to get this one. Ah! Right. There we go. 
It's no use! No, it's no use is, uh... Sonic 06. This is a good one. This, this is a good Sonic game, and not a bad Sonic game like Sonic 06. Watch this load screen. Bam. Done. Watch this load screen. Bam. Done. <laughs> like a good Sonic game. Oh god. I keep going on about it being a good Sonic game, and then I immediately go into one of the mech levels. <laughs> I think there is a rocket over there. Oh, that's the, uh, the whistle, the hidden power, or whatever the heck it was called. Oh, there's a parrot over there. Parrots are good for chows, which I'm probably not going to do much of. No! I got greedy! Alright, can I make it? Can I make it? Yeah! The mech levels are all about cycles. All about cycles and that uh, that ringing noise whenever you have the the targeting laser out. And that's the mech levels. See, look at this. Missed a cycle. Basically over. Um, I greedy. I got greedy. I keep playing as if I have the uh, the hover jets to save me, and I super don't. Yeah, you would think that he would just make the robot hover, as opposed to hide the upgrade to make it hover somewhere in the world. I don't even remember which level the uh, the upgrade's in. It might be late in this one. Or maybe... I know you get one of Tails' upgrades in the second level you do with him. He's too busy building the Moon Piss laser. I still haven't actually watched the the redubs. How will you know about the sand bag? I that's one of the few scenes that I have seen of the redub. And that scene, uh, which one was that scene in? Was that Sonic 06? Because I don't think they did one for uh, Sonic Heroes. And that scene was not in Sonic Adventure. Uh, <laughs> There's one with Eggman pissing on the moon. That. Ah, oh, fuck, dude! Oh my god. Back so far. Uh, Eggman pissing on the moon is in this one, I'm pretty sure.
I get to Eggman's 70 alternate accounts. I'm definitely missing out on, on a whole lot of jokes that y'all are going to be making here. Another weird part about, like, so not having the hover right away makes some of these platforming sections kind of annoying. But also, like, the way that the, mo the momentum works with the mech levels is really, really weird. So, like, you've got all that going on, and just, like, doing the, the mech suit shuffle. But the mech suit shuffle is very indicative of just, like, oh, changing directions in the mech suit while moving probably has the potential to act pretty weird, huh? And it does. Oh god, I was so worried that I jumped too early. Zoom! So, Lawyer Dog, I assume you haven't actually played this game. Absolutely not. How much do you remember about the dub? Not a lot. So, why do you think we are going to this pyramid? Uh... There might be a gem rolled in it. Nope. There's a ghost there? Yes, but that's not the reason. Wanna eat a mommy? That was too close. Oh, I got the I got the bad rank. Uh so we need to go uh to this pyramid because this pyramid is where the space shuttle is. So we oh, can yeah. get to the moon. Oh yeah. That makes sense. That tracks. Uh huh. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. Also, apparently, this is his base, so it's unclear as to why he had to blow up all of those robots to get here. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously. The only thing that was chaos stolen emerald? was the Chaos Emerald. I forgot how much talking over each other there was in this game. Like, there's obviously the, I'll make you eat those words, but there's even more than I remember. Oh, Shadow's stealing the Chaos Emeralds. How crazy is that shit? Here's the flashback to where his girlfriend died. What? Maria looks even worse than I remember. Shadow, that character model is not great. Please, like, the super realistic hair texture on this extremely cartoon lady. No, Shadow's gonna kill all the military because his girlfriend died. Also, Radical Highway, which is a really good song. Zoom. Unlike the 2D Sonic games, this Sonic game lets you go fast. The old JPEG city. Oh, yeah. Uh. All right. You have to... You have to do a specific roll to go under there. You can't be spin dashing. Oh no. 
lost all my rangs. Oh right, they made a Chow in Space animation recently. Oh, there was Big! Big the cat was up on that blimp! Check the VOD, you'll see I was right. Big the cat was totally up on that blimp. just a little too far away. Oh! Dang it! I was doing all the cool things and I just fell off. Shadow and his stupid rocket shoes. And, like, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why he's able to keep up with Sonic is because he has dumb rocket shoes, not because he's actually as fast as Sonic is. Easy peasy. Now that's how you go fast. Hmm. Too easy for me. Yeah, too easy. Shadow knows what I'm talking about. Yes. What? One of the best cutscenes. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald. Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos control! So not only did Sonic cut himself off, he like he was also cut off by Shadow during that cutscene. Everyone's cutting each other off all the time in this game. I've located Eggman's base and will proceed to enter it now. So I'm turning the game up a little bit more. <sighs> they hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Now, this is probably one of the worst treasure hunting missions. This mission sucks. I do know that there's an upgrade somewhere in here that I need to get. There they are. Got the pick nails. I can dig. Like, 
not only is this is it just hard to find all of the uh, uh, the treasures in this mission, it's also just like hard to get around and the hints aren't as helpful as they should be. Uh, how do I break those cages? Just think about it. Camera's going a little wickety. Oh, found it. Found the thing. Fast movement animations of most of the of most of the cast looks pretty goofy. Like Sonic and Shadow, they look fine. They look they will look great even when they're going fast. But like Rouge and Shadow and uh, and Knuckles, they are going way too fast for their animations. Right, yeah, like, it's, it's, they just sped up an animation too much rather than they made a specific animation for, for the movement speed that they're going. But in general, you're also not, in most of the treasure hunting levels, you're not spending a ton of time actually on the ground. You are spending much more time in the air, uh, gliding and so on. Or climbing on walls, and your climbing speed is consistent. Found a treasure. How was that? Perfect, like me? Yeah. Perfect, like Rouge. She's right. And some like some of the motion capture it's animations also look board. really goofy. The destination has been set to. Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. So despite Rouge being a character on the Dark Story, Rouge is a spy that's been hired by the government to spy on Eggman. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow Also, we're in space now. Mission, well, this is mission like six. Just screw it, go into space. The space, the mech missions in space are generally pretty rough. I'm not a huge fan of the mech missions in general space ones where there are even more fatal fatal falls at least with uh, Tails Tails' space missions there's a ton of places where you can just fall off and die alright 
Got the hover. The hover lets us do a little more... Some more spicy uh, movement in the mech levels. If you're brave, you can skip cycles. You can also lose a ton of time by just falling to your death while trying to skip cycles. Anti-villain wanting emeralds. Yeah, like, Rouge is a spy, but also she just loves jewels and emeralds and stuff. That doesn't have anything to do with her job, she just loves them. Box. We don't need to worry about that. We're not here for chows, we're here for sand. We're here for chows. I'll get the chow key on one of these levels, and we can go check it out. We can get to hear all of those really good chow noises, like blah blah blah. I thought this was Sonic Adventure, not Eggman Adventure. Wow. I didn't actually intend to play the Dark Story. When I was going in to select a new game, I accidentally flicked the control stick and it selected the Dark Story. There's Big! There's Big! There's Big! There's Big the Cat! There's Big the Cat! He's hanging out! That's him. That's the boy. Gun Hog Adventure. I played that Shadow the Hedgehog game. Uh, it's bad. Believe it or not. I think I got the GameCube version, and uh, I can say, I can say with confidence, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog for the Nintendo GameCube is a bad video game. The wiggle waggle lock on. Yeah. Oh, I got the D, but not the good kind. Dang, you Eggman bad. I should have tried harder next time. Uh, one of my childhood friends uh, got all of the endings in Shadow the Hedgehog. You, now I, will show the I don't know why he did that to himself. Of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. Professor the Gerald the Robot. Space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the op contained a top secret research facility where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them. A weapon Shadow is the hacker the man. Planet. Yeah, he knows all about the the, the facility. Cannon. He knows all about the eclipse cannon. Entire planet. He could blow up the whole world. It's been Grandpa Robotnik was a crazy motherfucker. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. Just gotta get them Chow's emeralds, and we can blow up the moon. Oh, so that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. Eggman having absolutely no neck. We need the seven chaos emeralds. He doesn't need one. He's an egg. Most characters in this game don't have, doesn't. Most characters in this game don't have necks. Necks are too hard, dude. Yeah. Just put a a big head on a very round body. Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the chaos emeralds. Use the 
machine to dominate the world and build a legacy of Do you really think own. it will be that easy? Oh shit. It's Tits the Bat. I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? Look at those hips though. Deal? When you grab that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. Reaction that it may have with the yeah, Eggman got some hips. <laughs> I mean, it depends. <laughs> defining <laughs> defining hips on Eggman is a difficult question. Your Eggman got at least four hips. At what point does it stop being like chest or midsection and start being hips? Okay, then it's a deal. Yo, Eggman got that abdomen. He got that door. Is Eggman all hip, or is he all chest, or is he all, like, midsection? He's all egg. He's all egg. Yeah, pretty much. He was oh, a look good at that boy, and he fused with an evil egg, and now he's evil Eggman. Right. Because eggs are inherently evil. True. Well, it was a rotten egg, specifically. what you want to believe. Very well. That's even worse. So we, we're hanging out on this military island where Sonic is actually being held prisoner because he was arrested at the end of the last Shadow cutscene. Eggman bomb bomb. I think Shadow's version of the forest level is uh, White Forest. The jungle levels are really cool, but they are definitely the hardest to do cool, hardest to do in a cool way. Oh boy, another Eggman level. Oh, this one's actually really fun. You just get to blow up a fuckload of stuff. an upgrade. Vulcan power, Vulcan cannon power up, and now I can break the gray boxes. Uh, since the key is right here, let's go ahead and get the key. So that way we can see Eggman's really good running animations. So much of doing Eggman's levels, or doing the robot levels fast, is just maintaining uh, forward momentum. If you make any, if you make too many sharp turns, it starts going bad. What are you doing turning around then? Well, not even like tr turning around, but like turning 45 degrees left, because you need to go left. Uh, there's a thing over the left. Uh, not it. I gotta go. This is a story playthrough. We gotta see what's going on with the plot. Penguin's gonna piss on the moon. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> God Good damn job. it. I Good was job. doing so well. Good job. <laughs> damn it. Man, Eggman really starts cooking, though. My power is going down.
Man, I could have gotten through that deathless, no problem. Why don't I just do a bad jump? Stop breaking the speed limit? Absolutely not. That was too close. That was too close. Alright, time to go to Chow World. Yeah! Look at these really good running animations! Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah, Eggman. <laughs> He's doing it! <laughs> yeah! His legs go so far out to the side! Yeah, so he can build up more speed. Yeah. Right. Where's the button to rock the egg? It's not let me... Oh, you just have to hold it. You're not holding it. No, you you're usually... clearly not holding it. I remembered there was a... Uh... Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> Is he saying Gooch? Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't shake the baby. Oh, the audio is going nuts. So he shook that one up. Wait, no. <laughs> no, don't. Don't. <laughs> I was trying to pick it up. Shake the baby. Shake the baby. Yo! I got the good one! I got, I got the good face! Look at this motherfucker! Hell like yeah! Having a good time. This is the one that gets all of all of the. Ch I think these are called Chow drives. Come on. One with the not cool face. Oh wait, that's the one with the cool face. Oh wait, do both of them have the cool face? No, this one doesn't have the cool face. Okay. Here, have this. No. Have it. Have it. Yours. Yours. So, there you go. Oh, come on. Come on. You know, you know you want it. Come on. We're gonna give it like two more tries. Put the egg on your head. Put the egg on your head. Smash Mouth ate the eggs. He won't. He ain't doing it. Okay. Here, have a boar. And now he's a furry. One of them is a furry, and one of them is powerful. Nice.
All right. His skin color is growing darker because a dark side hero is showing him a lot of affection. It's fucked up. <laughs> No, don't attack. Don't a don't attack the baby. I got the baby. I do like the jiggle physics from when they're, like, rebounding from being shaken. Okay. That's enough chow. We must continue assaulting the military. Oh, right! This cutscene. I forgot that he actually puts on the goggles sometimes. It looks really dumb. Look at that skybox. Look at that water texture. I forgot how difficult this boss is. Not that vi not that difficult. It was definitely way closer than it should have been, but it's fine. Security Hall is one of the cooler treasure hunt missions in this game. It also has one of the best songs in the game. FYI, I'm a spy. The theme of Security Hall. Oh right, there's also just a shitload of, like, hundred dollar bills in these giant fans. Get that fucking money! Yeah, screw the Chaos Emeralds. I'm in it for the dollar dollar bills. Now, despite this being one of the cooler missions, it is one of the harder missions to get uh, good scores on because some of the areas require a lot more effort to get in and out of than others. Got a good cream up in here. What? Cash rules everything around me. Ah. Right. I was thinking the Sonic the Hedgehog character. Yeah. That's what the Sonic the Hedgehog character is named after. Ah, I see. I know the island is set to blow up. Okay, it is upstairs. in that dude. He was inside a man. Where else would it be? What are you doing? Get going. Bring me the Chaos Emerald now. Don't boss me around, Egg Man. I'm a strong independent who don't need no egg. Uh, how 
do you open these? I don't remember. Oh god. I'm actually going to run out of time. I need to use it. Under the square air duct. That's not helpful. to like do a certain thing in order to be able to unlock these yellow floor I know oh much how help do you remember which floor the safes are on that you want to open that was not helpful at all oh much how safe and B block I know I know where it is I don't know how to open it I'm gonna die I'm gonna explode So I think you had to like, you can dig into them when uh, there's like a logo blinking on them. No, it's going to explode. God. Was there another power up that I needed to get? Call vultures being one of the rare aminals. Yes, yeah, Dylan, you did indeed miss me playing a lot of Torchlight. It was so boring. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to find certain switches in order to uh, unlock certain sections of the place. Yeah, Rouge's walk is nuts. She's cooking. Everybody in this game be cooking. Yeah. Even the robots get pretty fast. Easier to search from the top down, so we're gonna start up here. What's up with this cardboard box? It's just a cardboard box. Maybe Solid Snake is in there, but I can't open it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, there they are. It's probably fine, he says immediately before dying. Okay, speed run. I got it this time. cell blocks unlocked at the same time. I don't remember if you can. If you can't, that's very important information to have right now. I'm going to work under the assumption that you can't. And I'm also going to restart, because I got a game over. Story select. Here I go! 
Okay. So we've got green there, so it's somewhere close to the middle. Oh, there it is. Oh. Give me the good bonus. Yeah. Okay, so... Got green around here. in the yellow portion, so we need to go up and hit the yellow switch, which is thankfully the easiest one to hit. And I need to go find a ring, so I don't die for no reason again. Oh! Well, there's... Here's the last gem rolled. So let's go ahead and get that one. Uh, no, uh, there's the rings. Okay. So back down to. Hello. Ooh. Alright. See? Easy peasy. Definitely didn't take me like five tries. Probably a B since I didn't get many rings. A. Perfect. It's an A. Like me? And now we get to do shadows. Oh no, we have to do the stupid boss fight first, and then we get to do shadows. This is Flying Dog Headquarters. Intruder found entering security. Preparing to attack. I remember this boss being really weird to fight, because it's like you have to climb up these walls and then do a dive onto it, but you can kind of hit them outside of cycles and do it just right. I didn't do it just right. There we go. He's got a lot of life, too. Uh, dang it. Even if you don't take damage, if you, like, bounce into him, he'll send you away in some, like, really weird knockback where it like kinda takes like it takes away your control but it's it doesn't really put you into a knocked down state and he's dead not bad huh i'm pretty strong all right look at those ear physics they put the jiggle physics where it matters this is rouge i've got a small problem I can't believe that I'm trapped inside this locked safe with a Chaos Emerald! I guess I won't be able to call myself a treasure hunter anymore. Oh no, Rouge is gonna die! Shadow's like, grr, I'm not gonna let a lady die ever again. I gotta save the lady. Yeah, oh, white jungle and then green forest, I think, is the other one. The 
forest uh, half pipes that you travel through uh, have some really jank physics. If I am just going to randomly get launched out of a half pipe to my death for no reason, anywhere it's anywhere in the game, it's going to be on either this level or in the counterpart level in Sonic's story. <laughs> attack after one of those. More Sonic games need to be bold enough to retcon themselves out of existence. Which Sonic game are you referring to? Six? That sounds about right. Have I seen the time time diagram for 06? Absolutely not. Are you crazy? Oops. Dang, my shadow cooking. Hell yeah, he is. I got the air shoes. I got my Air Jordans. And now I get a whole new dimension of potentially killing myself for no reason. Of trying to light dash along a line of rings and not doing that and just <laughs> falling off of the platform and dying. It's a very involved diagram. I believe it. Oh, there was a, there was a, there was a big, there was a big, there was a big there. I don't know if you guys saw the big, but there was a big. And we did it! Easy peasy. One of the Chaos Emeralds has no source or end. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, I was one ring off! That wasn't so hard. <laughs> you fool! Damn it! Every boss has a weak point. Oh hell yeah! Blue Hedgehog again, of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're Murder that hedgehog. Huh. You're not even good enough. I'll make you eat those words. those words. You can't get away this time. Uh, this boss fight is really dumb. Uh, this is probably one of my least favorite boss fights in the game because sometimes if you just mash A, you will just get lucky and win. And sometimes you will launch yourself off the side of the stage and die. We got lucky. No time to hang out with the likes of you. Sub 30 seconds. I'm speedy, boy. Shadow, what are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it. Blows up? Oh, no. Whoa. Oh my god! So I don't know if I'm misremembering or not, but I recall Eggman planting a bomb. <laughs> and that happens. What do you think it's like on Earth? Ark. The professor said his life's work was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. 
Gerald Robotnik once said his whole purpose was making people happy through science. So he built a gigantic laser cannon inside of his inside of his space colony. Just in case. Maria. Why so melancholy? I don't remember what the relationship between uh, Maria so and Gerald Robotnik was, come but... And rescue me. But your ability to use the chaos control certainly comes in handy. Hmm. You know, There's some weird backstory to, to this game you. that is actually kind of neat. Back for the chaos emeralds. Yeah, yeah, but then again, that's not the whole story, is it? Everything is ready to go! Are you sure? We only have six of the seven chaos emeralds, you know? It's more than enough for the demonstration. So let's get the show on the road. The part you were excited for is coming up. Read the text in the background of this. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist. I am great. I am brilliant. I am genius. I am Emperor. <laughs> Damn. Wish this could happen in real life. <laughs> Fuck the man. <laughs> yeah. It sure is I'm sick great. of tides. They used this design, like that stupid face laser design in uh, the IDW Sonic comics, and Robotnik calls it, it's on a much smaller scale, but uh, Robotnik calls it his face ship, and everyone hates that he calls it the face ship. Good. Also, oh no, the moon! Why does he blow up the moon? Uh, to show off the power of the Space Colony Arc's, uh, oh, uh, Epsilon Cannon? Omega Cannon? Why are you so upset? He blew up a thing. Well, that was really impressive. You've managed to create complete havoc on the whole planet. Does this now mean we control the planet and can do as we choose? At this rate, the cannon will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential... You'll need all seven Chaos Emeralds. We need the last Chaos Emerald if we're gonna do the good thing. Something happened? Our threats fell on deaf ears. Look at you, throwing a tantrum like a little kid. How totally embarrassing. Don't forget your end of the bargain, that girl. What about that last Chaos Emerald? We had a deal, God, right? these animations are so bad. Here you go. They're good. <laughs> Why didn't you show me this before? This Rouges were actually good, what are you talking about? Rouges are great. Eggmans are whack. I mean, Eggmans are a level beyond perfect that's hard to understand. <laughs> Isn't how, that how the Earth got fucked up in Cowboy Bebop? Yeah. yeah Turns Eggman out blowing up the moon up. is bad for it. What does this mean for werewolves? They're not anymore. Werewolves cease to exist, they don't have the boon anymore. Fuck Eggman. Yeah! That's how you know he's a true villain. I'm glad Shadow fucked your wife. <laughs> Rouge getting paid in jewels to spy on a supervillain by the government. Oh right! Oh right! I forgot! <laughs> I actually forgot! Yeah, I say that or not, you know. So I'm currently like in a drifting state. But the game is pretty generous <laughs> in regards to maintaining your drift. Oh god, I almost went off the whole dang thing. There we go. You 
turn way better when you're drifting, and you don't go that much slower. So it's not an unreasonable thing to just drift the entire time. You do get this really good tire squealing sound the whole time if you do, though. Oh, nice. That's why you need that chaos soda. Lube it up your tires. Uh-huh. I remember the... Uh, I remember really enjoying the uh, bonus. You murdered that man. Oh yeah. You get some like the uh, the bonus missions associated with the racing missions are actually pretty fun because it's like don't hit any other cars, so it's actually like a pretty significant challenge. Or don't hit the walls. You're doing some big murders. Uh huh. But also, like, what the fuck is this highway, though? Seems pretty normal. It's a one-way, so it's pretty safe. Oh, yeah. Except for the parts where it just ends, and you gotta really make sure you make that turn. At a 90 degree angle. <laughs> it's under construction. There weren't any signs blocking it. There are some lines <laughs> on the ground and colors. <laughs> Gotta do the big drifts. Also, Rouge's car looks really incredible. Her car so has bad. bat ears. Yeah. She's Ruga the Bat. Rouge the Baps. No! Oh my god. <laughs> that was almost disastrous. Doing that of zero shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god, what was that technique called again? Uh... Terrifying. <laughs> edge boosting, you, probably Fox because boy. you're boosting on the edge. Yeah, that makes sense. Remember when they did a demonstration of that game at uh, GDQ? And it was the, like, the wildest, most technically impressive thing that's ever been at a GDQ. Car racing! Ah, oh, Skyrail, huh? I recall this level being very hit or miss. I can't remember if Shadow's version was more fun than Sonic's. It's a shift boost. Shift boosting. Okay. On even ground, I think it's frame perfect. That's not right. two frames. It might be a baby thing. The game does run at 60, though, is the thing. Yeah, so. Two frames is a lot. <laughs> oh. It's a whole 30th of a second. Okay. I don't remember if. Like, spamming crouch actually makes you go faster if this was just a dumb thing that I did as a kid. Oh. No! Huh? Oh. Oh. No! <laughs> Damn it! I almost saved it! You got owned. <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> I almost saved it. If you're going down here hill on F Zero, you have like four frames to do a shift boost. Wow. Oh god. 
Why did that spring nearly skip the frickin'... No, damn it. Why did that spring nearly skip the checkpoint? I would've been disastrous if I continued to play that way. Shadow skating, yeah. Okay, no, you need to... Right. You can't be holding a direction when you jump off the rail if you want to do a... Uh, uh, if you want to do a homing attack. You just went and fell off, there. Yeah, I was trying to jump off and do a homing attack, but I forgot that you can't do that. You need to do it right. Okay, come on. Okay, Uh, scary. I pinned you for something totally stream safe. Is it audio based? No. Okay. Here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah! Absolutely stream safe. Good yeah. to know. Da 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 da. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. I didn't try hard enough. Oh, what? Stoneforge is down to zero? What? Yeah. Because it sucks. Oh. Doctor, they're heading directly toward us. What they're heading do? right for us. Oh, hey, it's Pumpkin Hill. Off in the little distance is Pumpkin Hill. Except during the daytime. That's crazy. Also, because the the loading times are so short, some of these that was pretty rough. are pretty cut it. off. Let's go, Amy. Yeah. You little thieves. Did you really think eh? This is the King Boom Boo boss fight room. And that's why Knuckles was so tired. Just leave it to me. Come and get some Eggman! Stone it begins with who's gonna win. No it's been like five times with the animation effort on Rouge, didn't they? Oh yeah. Well, also it's because she is more realistically proportioned than most of the cast. So, like, the motion capture actually worked. The motion capture for this? That seems uh -huh. like it wouldn't help. That's why so many of these animations look bad. It seems like it would be significantly easier to just not do that. They made some questionable decisions when making this game. Because it's like, not everything is motion captured, but a lot of the like dialogue scenes are motion this captured. This one for sure is. <laughs> And this guy's spinning in his head, definitely. Mm -hmm. no! No! What a piece of junk. Uh-huh. Fucking Sonic. <laughs> this boss fight sucks as Eggman and is actually pretty fun as Sonic. Why are you Eggman for like 90% of this? Because he's the main character of the dark story. Damn it. Don't get hit. He's got on Trying hit. not to. Oh, also this quicksand is is dead. Don't go ahead then. I'm not gonna. I'm just making you aware of the stakes. Don't go ahead then. Okay. I got it. That wasn't that bad actually. Choo choo. Hype train. 
And this is the part where the heroes go to space, despite the fact that the villains have just been going back and forth to space. And then once they get to the space colony, Hi, Knuckles How's it going? nearly suffocates. What? Knuckles just jumps out of the space shuttle escape? because they were holding all of the Master okay. Emerald shards what in the cargo myself? bay, and the cargo bay just gets knocked Can open because they the bump into an asteroid. The space colony control? <laughs> Tricking that old doctor is just too easy. All right, it's time to get to work. The password is. Maria. 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 Hmm? I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh well. This is it. Research Project Shadow. The ultimate, the ultimate life, life form. form. Let's see now. Oh no! The world Warning! Life. Shit's going bad. What is Shadow, anyway? Oh no, they're breaking in! I guess I'll just have to take the last pieces of the Master Emerald. I really like all of Rouge's music. Oh no! Be very careful. Oh no, I forgot this level existed! Shut up, Momochow. Tell me the secrets. Okay. He's just saying, get the iron boots, not where the iron boots are. Uh, where are the iron boots? I super don't remember anything about this level. Usually what happens when I play Sonic Adventure is I play... Or Sonic Adventure 2, specifically. I play all of the hero story, and then I play half of the dark story, and then I stop. <laughs> so all of the later levels of the dark story, I super don't remember. Also, eat shit Mario Galaxy, this game did it first! Did it way worse, but it did do it for- oh god. Did it way better because it had Rouge the Bat. It had Tits the Bat all up in it. Oh, the controls are so bad. <laughs> they seem good, actually, from what oh, I can god. see. <laughs> oh god. Uh, uh, okay. I got the boots. This is the planet. Huh. God. Uh, uh, let me break free of the gravity. Huh. Get me out of here. Gotta be sick. Okay. Uh, can I just leave? No. I'm just gonna restart the level because I got the upgrade. Spherical planet? No. Okay, this is a different one. Uh... Oh, good lord, that audio file was super blown out.
the container that is not floating. gonna take a bit, I feel. Especially because the first emerald shard is at the very fucking top of the level. Or at least somewhere very high in the level. <coughs> and also the level is gigantic. The lowest place. Cool. Perspective was not conducive to doing. Lonely House was not conducive to doing that pro strat. The smallest meteorite. Okay. Uh, which would be the smallest? Next to the green stone. By Hut on the floating meteorite. I'm not going to waste my time trying to complete this level without hints. This is the uh, it's not next to the green zone. happening. viewers may notice that there are a lot of containers that are flying. Uh, the lowest place. Uh, cool. Wait, no. Ah, I'm an idiot. I'm a big dummy, actually. So, uh, all of the hints in this level are backwards. Some of them are literally backwards. Some of them are like, they mean the opposite of what they say. Uh, container at the base. Container at the base, a bunch of black. Give me another hint. 
The highest place. Okay. So, it's high up. It's... Somewhere there's a bunch of black. It's not con not between the blo the floating black containers below. Right. Okay. Still got a jammin', even though I used all three hints. What was my overall score, though? My overall ranking? Probably a C. A D! I guess I took a little too much time. I guess I took a little too much time! Oh boy, this boss fight! Talking to you is a waste of time. And I don't remember the pro strat give them to me. for this boss fight. I think it's just. I I oh god! I the camera switched, so the direction I was holding switched. Give them to me. I didn't grab the freaking ring. Use your rings wisely. Pick up one Character boss fights sure are. The, uh... I find that the, uh... The robot versus robot fight, like, uh, Eggman versus Tails aren't too bad. But the, like, Treasure Hunter versus Treasure Hunter and Fast versus Fast, those fights generally suck. Ah! There he is. There you go. Just hide and seek because the camera is so bad when you're climbing. Or it, it's not bad when you're climbing. It you can't look around when you're climbing. So it's bad in this specific instance. God, where is? There he is. Get over here. I was right. That is the cheap way to, to beat it. I lamed him out. Okay, after the fight. Uh, hopefully that didn't break it. Aw, oh, that is a very nice thing he sent me on Discord. Thank you, Acker. She has wings. She has been established to be able to fly. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch me. Is that how you say thanks to someone who just saved she doesn't want to. Yeah. She would rather die than You just wanted to hold my hand, didn't you? That's why you saved me. You're such a creep. This isn't a joke. You think what you want, that girl. I was saving the master emerald. Fucking rage. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you say, it sounds crazy. 
What? She's so Sundere. It's Sundere versus Sundere. Knuckles isn't Sundere, he's just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's less of an idiot in this one, and he's more just like a wannabe tough guy. Well, he's mainlining all these weed crystals now. It's true. We should get going. <laughs> Soon, Daddy. <laughs> In the pyramid, cannon countdown 58 minutes. What's Rouge up to anyway? This is strange. It's showing energy readings from two separate Chaos Emeralds. Did they really think they could trick me with that fake emerald? Wait, Shadow. I'm the one who should be telling them the end is near, not you. Now is the time to end this long drawn out battle. Eggman's theme is so fucking good. History has the ultimate genius. If something happens to me, I'm counting on you to finish the job. Alright, the moment for attack has come. It's now or never. Oh, they just have teleporters. Oh, okay. They can just teleport. Yeah, why not? Yep. They have the power of the pyramids. Oh no. As soon as I jumped, I remembered this level. Oh no. It's not as bad as a lot of the, uh. Uh, a lot of the. Uh, Sonic space levels, I want to say. Uh, well, okay, not a lot of them. There are certain Sonic-type character uh, sections in space that are super whack. Anything that has to do with changing the gravity in this game feels bad. But they figured out how to do it, so they did a lot. And I mean, it is cool, but it feels bad. Oh god. Am I back at the start? Oh god, I'm a that game over. Game over. So yes, I am back at the start. Ah. One of got owned. Yeah. One of the worst parts about the uh, the space levels is the. Blue slime dudes. It's hard to hurt them, and their attacks are annoying to avoid. They just suck. I don't even get to do crazy gadget skip skip in uh, in the, the dark mode. I absolutely don't actually know how to do crazy gadget skip skip anyways. But I'm I'm always happy to find an excuse to bring up crazy gadget skip skip. Oh god, that's so lucky. Uh the, the check one was right there too. Come on. Yeah, beef noise is. The robot sections love their beef noises. Oh. Uh. Reduce the Walker's body armor against damage. Awesome. I probably just read that wrong. It's in reinforces. Oh, okay. 
Whoa! You're spinning. You're spinning real good. Mm -hmm. Getting combos. Get points. Okay. Oh wait, now the capture. I am just really far behind on the screen. Oh. I'll refresh. These things happen. Definitely a section where you have to fall through a bunch of lasers as tails. No. No. The blobs. Fuck off. Take the blobs. Spooked. I've been trying to not use the lock on too terribly much because it it is just audibly terrible. There are certain sections where I really should be using it more. <laughs> I got two gold. I got two brazen. Ah, uh, I'm so far back. No. was right there. Every time I've died in this level has been like right next to a checkpoint. Just don't die. I'm working on it. Deal with the blob. Okay. That's 
so many times that my rank is going to be awful no matter what, so I'm not going to go out of my way to kill extra enemies. I don't recall if there are, are any attacks during that section that can actually hit you. Because you can't dodge them during that section. Oh no, it's not a big drill! Oh no! Ring zero out of four hundred and seventy seven. That was too close. Art Research Lab, can and count down thirty three minutes. Why do they always leave a sleep oh boy, it's time for another Eggman level. Well, well, young lady, is there something I can help you with? And here's the part where Eggman just points a gun at Amy. Hell yeah, Eggman. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> like sideways, like gangster style. Just like, motherfucker. Just talk, shit, talk shit to me. You're Sonic being a cool guy. He says to himself out loud. Also, Eggman's gun has a giant scope. You turned into a big time villain, Doctor. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. You could trick me with that fake emerald, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real one? Tails. Tails? Because you just told me, Fox Boy. <gasps> now, for a little space ride, the capital clears the colony. Bam. I'm counting on you, Tails. Oldest trick in the book, and Tails, the genius, <laughs> fell right for it. And now Sonic's dead. Farewell, Sonic. With that Duke Nukem ass explosion gif. <laughs> now we have some unfinished things to take care of. If you give me the real emerald, I will release you both. You have my promise. Sonic! Huh? Sonic's asking for the first time to do something for him. I won't let him down. I, I won't, won't give up! Give up. Now it's time for one of the most difficult boss fights. What have you done to Sonic? I'll never forgive you for this. You'll never forgive me for this. Yeah. Yep. 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 And that fight also sucks as tails.
I guess he was just a regular hedgehog after all. <laughs> Replaying the explosion gif. Legend has it when all seven Chaos Emeralds are collected, the power creates a miracle. I have six of them. They're mine. All mine. I don't think Shadow. so. Oh, no. Or was it a direct order from the president? Now I know who you are. You're that government spy, Rouge the Bat. <laughs> You're that government spy. Noted government spy, Rouge the Bat. Aren't you Rouge? The Bat. Results of the research project called the Ultimate Life Form. But if this picture is of the real Ultimate Life Form named Shadow, then exactly who or what get a little sneak peek. Get a real a little sneak peek of the real Shadow, aka Bio Lizard. Eclipse cannon. Right, because it, it blows up the moon, I guess. If you want to live, leave the Chaos Emeralds where they are. The fake emerald is good enough for you. Do you actually believe that you're the real shadow? No doubt. Even your memories might not be real, you know? Even if my memories are not real, it's still me, Shadow. And I will fulfill my promise to Maria. The only thing that I'm still me. You can't trick me. That thing can't be me. I'm me. Also, hang on. I'm going to restart the captioner. I'm going to restart both captioners because the stream has been going for a hot minute. Okay, uh, Chrome 1, Chrome 2, okay, there we go, this should be good. Zoom. Oh god, okay, so these, these cylinders, these cylinders right here, uh, they suck. They suck a big one, and not in a good way. They are a huge pain in the ass to navigate. <laughs> As such. Uh, come on, come on. Be very careful. Yeah. I really have to be, because otherwise I will die. Uh. I recall these are easier to navigate than the uh, the gravity switching bullshit uh, that uh, one of Sonic's uh, end game levels has. But it's not good either way. Space levels are a huge pain in the ass. Certain sections of the space levels are really cool, though. Like, they have some of the most interesting uh, sections of the game. But also, the sections most likely for you to just randomly fall off and die. Change the Mystic Melody in the action window. Then press B, the B button, to play Mysterious Melodies.
Thank you very much for the raid, LF Fun Emporium. Oh, oh, oh. Raid boys. Ow, <laughs> that hurt my throat for some reason. <laughs> the raid boys are getting all up in your throat. Wow. Just streaming Sonic Team Racing and figured I'd give it a. Oh no, I was reading the message and I died. Got pranked. <laughs> Get another Sonic streamer array. Well, thank you so much. I'm, I don't stream Sonic regularly, but this is one of my favorite games of this generation of consoles. And the game that I was playing earlier sucked. This game. What was that? You got a big cat in this game. They have a big cat, and he just shows up all over the place. I gotta tell you, I've seen some large cats in my day, but he's the biggest of them all. Too true, too true. Voiced by one of the best voice actors. He talks? I don't think he talks in this one, but I, I'm pretty sure in every game that Big has been in, he has been voiced by John St. John, aka Duke Nukem. That's a good voice. <laughs> yeah! Have I seen the randomizer mod for this game? I have not. No, God, no. No. I'm bad. I'm bad at video games, actually. <laughs> You're gonna die every time you look at chat. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for the follow. No, that one. That one was on me. I should not have. I should not have moved the analog stick in that direction. All right, take two. Story select. Take two. Oh, you I actually mean, game over, die. Yeah, of the whole level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should. I should try out more randomizers. They seem like a good thing to stream. The problem is, is like a lot of the coolest randomizers are like OOT, and I am not good at uh, classic Zelda games. Rather, I don't know a lot of the weird mechanics of classic Zelda games that you would want to know for doing randomizers. There's a lot to know about the Zeldos. Uh huh. What in the fuck are those enemies? They're blobs with robot faces, and they suck. Uh, uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> oh god. Randomizer is well worth it. It mixes the level music and voice lines up in cutscenes. Oh boy. I wonder if it keeps the voice line timing so that you get even more characters talking over each other. They actually finally don't talk over each other in the oh, eyes. We fixed it. <laughs> Why did I lock onto that item bubble? <laughs> they still interrupt each other? Good. Very important. I think I may be pressing the jump button too much when I'm navigating those cylinders, I think. Oh, definitely. Why would you ever press the jump button? Because <laughs> I want to go! But I shouldn't. You have so much faith in this game's mechanics being able to let you jump good on that crazy cylinder. Uh-huh. Definitely. Definitely the case. I don't even know a not terrifying way for jumps to work when you're on something like that. 
the hope, the That's bravery. Can come from it. <laughs> Faith and good luck. See that rail? Way off in the distance? I'm probably gonna die on that. Oops. Oh boy. Uh, Just don't jump off it randomly. Uh. But see, like, even with these mechanics being all wiggity whack and just sometimes choosing not to work, when they do work, you feel like a cool guy. You gotta work for the cool one. Yeah. It is very similar to classic Sonic in that way, where you gotta. You gotta know what you're doing, and you gotta believe if you want to do the cool things. No, 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 I didn't want to do the tubes. I didn't believe hard enough. Phoenix is one of the best. I think it might be the highest stat increase of any of the uh, Chow items. What the fuck do the Chows do? Uh, they uh, race. They fight. And that's it. They, they race each other and they fight each other. And you gotta train your Damn. Chow to be the best Chow. That's a hardcore life. Well, like... Uh, it's even wilder when you are fighting, like, no, 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 no. Uh, when you're fighting, like, low stat chows, because they haven't even learned to walk yet, so they crawl up to each other and punch each other in the face. So it's just, oh, like, yeah. you're just fighting babies. Just actual Low babies. Baby fights. Uh... Okay. We're doing it. I'm, I'm doing the level. Oh god, I have to go down? Oh, yeah. Okay, can I... Uh, yeah. Just do uh, one big jump. It'll I be want easy. It. I want to. I'm gonna do it. No. Why did the camera change? <laughs> Never mind, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, actually. Why? Why is the camera like this? Why is the camera like this? Oh, you the camera. <laughs> Up, uh, <whoa. laughs> Why? Good job. Uh, oh, good lord. <laughs> How did you not fall off there? I have no idea. Please. Oh, thank she god. You just ran right off the level and <laughs> screwed back on. <laughs> did it again. <laughs> I did it! 147 rings though, holy crap. That's barely any rings. That's of 489, enough. baby. That's nothing. <laughs> Rank D, try again. God damn it. I felt like I was doing so good. Did you? I didn't, allegedly. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you were dying constantly. Well, on the yeah, second run through. Me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. This boss fight's really cool. Mechanically, it's really dumb, but thematically, it is incredibly cool. So, mm-hmm. The motherfucker could just say, I die hard. Yeah. Because he's just a guy that loves adventure. I see. But you know, I can't let you live. You're are coming to an end. Doing his cool skate shoes. Also, the theme song for this right, boss fight is really good. Time for me to this. I got them wheelies. You do. Chaos control. Chaos control. 
No, don't! Yeah. Oh god! No! You don't do that to me! I do that to you! Come on, come on, come on! Yes! No! I didn't actually get the hit. Camera's a little bit silly. Oh yeah! And mechanically, it's just like, you're having a race fight with Sonic and just generally hoping to dear god that he spawns in the middle when there's a line of rings there and that your your uh, light speed dash actually hits him. Because trying to uh, hit him with the homing attack is absolutely a death wish on this level. So does he just repeatedly teleport in front of you? Yep. Does that explain it all? Uh, he's using Chaos Control. What? Oh. Sonic can use Chaos Control? Yep. Uh, that's how he survived uh, being shot out of the capsule into space with the explosion. And not only did he use Chaos Control, he used Chaos Control with a fake ma uh, a, uh, a fake Chaos Emerald. I feel like he shouldn't be able to do that. Well, he does. It's cool. Ah. I feel like that makes Sonic the bad guy. What? He's the bad guy. He was doing chaos control. No! I tried to do the roll attack, but I locked onto the other line of rings. If you fall far enough behind, he'll use Sonic Wind, and then when he's using Sonic Wind, if you dodge Sonic Wind, you have an opportunity to attack him. Oh, I didn't dodge it. Uh -huh. If you jump on the sniffer, you can bounce off to him. Okay. Slow, slow down, bait out the attack. Come on. Come on, Sonic. Do the thing. Think. I'll, uh. I'll use your chaos control! I'll use your chaos control! Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Dodge it. Yes! The problem with it goes on for a while, huh? Yeah. Oh god, the camera got turned around. Oh no! Why didn't you get your rings? I'm not done with you, yet. you only need one. Okay. The only consistent way to deal damage to him is to bait out uh, Sonic Wind. But if you do a bad job of baiting out Sonic Wind, you can die really easily because Sonic Wind knocks you back. And in order to get him to use Sonic Wind, you have to hold back far enough that the pieces of the stage will start falling. Is Sonic dead? Uh, yeah. I killed Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh baby, the piss crystal. Hell yeah! The pistol. Yeah. That's how you know it's the good one. Eggman's all like, oh hell yeah, one. And then the the computer's like, oh shit. Everything's exploding. And that's the end of the dark story. Eggman collected the Chaos Emeralds and he uh, beat Sonic and everything worked out great for him. And there's definitely nothing that's going to go wrong after that. Uh, you can't skip the credits, can you? No, I don't think you can. Alright. I'm a chow main. I main chow in most of the fighting games.
Shadow's theme is so edgy. Sounds like some Devil May Cry ass music. Well, like, Devil May Cry music sounds like Shadow music. Wow. I actually don't know if Adventure came out before Devil May Cry. Or Adventure 2. What time is it? Uh, it's quarter past midnight. I probably shouldn't play through the hero story. <laughs> Don't did it. You murdered Sonic, you saved the day. Yeah. I got Dr. Robotnik all of the Chaos Emeralds, and now he's gonna blow up the world. It's gonna be great. So uh I guess I could just do, like, at some point, I can do another Sonic Adventure 2 stream, because if I just do a stream of it, I can probably pretty easily knock out the, uh, the hero story and the final story, or the last story? I don't remember what the name of it is. We get, like, a next time on cutscene now, I think. I can now select scenes from the dark story. Oh, okay. Two-player battle stages! Oh, I have the battle DLC! The military's top-secret weapon, Project Shadow, was stolen from the military base located on the deserted island in the Southern Seas. This incident increased worldwide terrorist activities. Sonic the Hedgehog was arrested. The adventure for truth leads to the incidents that shock the entire world. The story takes our hero Sonic from the Earth and into outer space. Sonic Adventure 2, Hero Side Story. Farewell, Sonic. Forever. <laughs> Farewell, Sonic. Forever. Actually, uh, what time did I start streaming Sonic Adventure 2? 10? I, mm, that took like two hours. I could just play the hero story too. Also, hey, Colt. It's getting pretty late. Do people want me to play through the hero story? Or should I save that to be its own stream? Let's do this. Let me show you my real power. Oh hell yeah, the race mode! Watch, but it should probably take care of your health. Clearly, when you play another dud game, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle will save the day. I mean, yeah, dude, Torchlight 1 was so boring, holy crap. That's why you gotta go fast. Yeah... It holds up for a good 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Certainly didn't hold it up for... It doesn't even actually do that. No, yeah, because, like, towards the end of the run, it's just, like, doing the same thing for... An, like, you have already completed all of the interesting parts of the run. Like, it, it stops being interesting to watch pretty quick. Yeah. It is more interesting to play. Sure. When you're zoom, zoom airplane. Airplane mode is such a goofy attack. 
I guess I haven't really eaten anything since like 2 p.m. It's been like 10 hours since I ate something. I should probably go eat something. I'll beat you. You Sometimes you games don't work out for streaming. Me. That game also didn't work out for playing. I super did not like Torchlight 1. Did not age the best. You've been playing like the actual good ones recently. That's the problem, right? Like, I... Uh, hang on. Torchlight me... 1 was very cheap and it came out when there were no others. Right. And It's been like a decade drought. Yeah. So it was like, I went from Median XL, which is just like a mod to make Diablo 2 better. And Diablo 2 was already one of the best ones. And then I played... I went from that into Diablo 3, which is, you know, it's more casualized for certain, but it was a hell of a lot of fun to play. And also didn't have a lot of, like, the worst aspects of a lot of ARPGs. You know, it, it takes out some of some of the most interesting aspects as well, but... Uh, Torchlight 1 does add in, like, several big interesting mechanics, like the pet... Yeah, the pet, the pet sending, like, being able to send the pet back to town to sell a bunch of your trash, that is a an incredible mechanic. That's great. But, uh, actually, like, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay struggled a little bit, especially because the levels were extremely repetitive and... Ah... Uh, Torchlight, more like torch the game. No, there Dang. weren't enough. It wasn't enough cor cursing in there to be an AVGN quote. Torchlight, more like fucking piece of shit. Like, yeah. Comedy from over a decade oh, ago. Eddie. Yeah, AVGN's been around for a while. So. Despite Torchlight 1 being an, an incredible failure, uh, my intention is still to play uh, Torchlight 2 next. Maybe uh, Torchlight 2 Torchlight won't 2 suck as much. Sure than Torchlight 1, but I would not say it's a good game. Sure. Like, maybe Torchlight 2 will also suck to the point where I don't actually play all the way through it. However, um, Depending on if it's a one-off stream or not, uh, it, I still have a couple of weeks before the uh, next major patch comes out for Path of Exile, so maybe I will, uh, you know, maybe the Solo Self Found series will uh, go on hold for a little bit, or maybe I'll, you know, check out some more, check out some other ones. Oh right, I have Titan Quest. Titan Quest is another game that I could play. Uh, after I, I couldn't two. play Titan Quest going to it after many years. It was rough. It's... I recall, despite being really into Titan Quest at the time, I recall never finishing Titan Quest. Never even coming close to finishing Titan Quest, and there's probably a reason for that. Uh, I, I can go back to Diablo 2. I cannot touch Titan Quest and not no good. Yeah, so maybe Torchlight 2 will be good enough to make a couple of streams out of. Maybe not. Uh, if not, then we can try out the same thing with Titan Quest. Uh, and I think I played Titan Quest for the first time around this time I played Torchlight. And I thought Torchlight was significantly better. Oofa doofa. I remember the most interesting thing about Titan Quest being the multi-classing system and like the way that the classes interacted with each other. I thought that stuff was pretty neat. But also, I thought that stuff was pretty neat back when it came out. So maybe it hasn't aged great. It probably didn't. We'll see. I'll, you know, even if it's just a one-off, the whole point of the solo self found series is not necessarily to complete or be good at these ARPGs. It's to examine the RPGs, examine 
what RPGs there are, and, you know, if I'm super into them, I'll put a bunch of time into them, so that way we can, you know, check out and see what the end game is like. Uh, but, uh, maybe it's bad, and maybe it's not worth playing. Sometimes the end game is Alt F4. Yeah, I sure did hit the end game of Torchlight pretty damn quick, huh? Well, I mean, not even that quick. I, I played it for like three hours. You were so early in the game when I came into the stream, it was wild. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, not tolerable in 40 minute increments and probably not much more. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, the plan, then, um, current plan is, uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll probably check out, uh, Torchlight 2, and if Torchlight 2 is bad, uh, maybe we will <laughs> finish the hero story of Sonic Adventure 2. Um, and then for the rest of the week, uh, I don't necessarily have a set plan for the rest of the week. Uh, rest of the week is whatever seems like cool games to stream. So maybe that will be Titan Quest, uh, and maybe Titan Quest will turn into another double feature. We'll see. Uh, I was not expecting to see two <coughs> friends have played recently when looking at Torchlight on Steam. Oh no. Who else? Someone you don't know has played seven hours recently. Oof, a doof, that's too much torchlight. They collected 250,000 gold. Ugh, uh, uh. Ouch. Uh, so yeah. Um, torchlight 2 tomorrow, uh, and then maybe Titan Quest at some point later in the week, and then. The intention for Saturday is I am going to be awake early enough to just get through the rest of Super Mario RPG. Just gonna make a big ass stream of it. Like, today's stream has actually been the longest stream that I've done since I started streaming regularly. <laughs> We're at over eight hours here. That's some hours. Yeah. So, uh, intention is. Uh, for the rest of the week, probably Torchlight 2, probably Titan Quest, and then Saturday, Super Mario RPG. And that's the plan. Uh, hopefully I'll be starting streams earlier uh, for the rest of this week. That'll be nice. Uh, and, but, you know, don't worry too much if you don't actually show up until uh, later on in the evening, uh, because if I start streams earlier, I'm probably still going to uh, stream for a hot minute. So, thank you everyone for showing up. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thank you so much, uh, Lawyer Dog, for your co-commentating and for your your assistance in finishing Torchlight. <laughs> um, if there's uh, anyone out there viewing or chatting or what have you that hasn't already followed me, it'd be really cool if you could give me a follow because it lets you know when I'm streaming, and also it helps me out, because it gets me closer to uh, to being able to let you guys uh, get a, a cool emote or two from subscribing. So yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow, probably. Rip.